Hello everyone and welcome back to another how to build video but before we start this video please make sure you're you are subscribed to my channel because only 78% of you who are returning viewers are not subscribed. But anyway let's get into the how to build. So this is Ragnarok Lost Vein Meliodas. He has the exact same ultimate as normal Meliodas of the normal Lost Vein but he's Ragnarok version so he's got different passive, he's got, he's got the same Outfits, uh, just got different abilities, stats will, will be the same, so he's going to have that really low crit resistance, which is actually not the best for this character. But anyway, uh, first let's look at his skills, he just got the old drain, I think this is the old crappy old drain. Yeah, this is the old really bad old drain. I don't know why they haven't actually updated this card, just update all of them to make them actually useful, which should be pretty cool. But... 1, 1, 3, multiplier increase isn't too bad, I guess. I guess you're you're getting quite a bit, of, quite a big multiplier increase. An extra 180%. And obviously 450 by deplete 3 old gauge, so that's actually pretty good. And you have he lowers attack related stats. Only on one enemy, which is kind of sad. But the percentages aren't actually too bad. Even at level 1, 20% attack related stats lower is quite big. But obviously the ultimate one is going to can't be attack lowered or can't even be stat lowered. So this would be completely useless. But this is where he becomes... I'll go into his... Actually, I'll do his ultimate first before I do that. He has an ultimate, which is the same as normal Lost Vein. It's just secret technique, meaning for the more cards he has in his hand, he'll uh, do more damage. Plus, he'll always have the, the attribute advantage, regardless of the attribute. That even, mean, that even means against, like, darkness characters or light characters. He will still have the attribute advantage, even though that's impossible. Now, let's get onto the passive, which is, like, the main thing about this melee. At the start of the Allies' turn, feels the hero's ultimate gauge move... Uh, by the number of orbs possessed by the hero with the most orbs. So, what this means is that let's just say you're versing uh, Alt Rush. So they in, they immediately start, they go second, they start with three Alt Gauge. You're running Merlin, Merlin in the back. That means then you start with one. So you, then you end up with four Alt Gauge. When you have four Alt Gauge, you then play one card, play something else, and you go his ultimate, and his ultimate. I'm not going to say it nukes nowadays, because uh, nowadays teams are super tanky, but it can do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Especially um, if the enemies aren't super, super tanky, like if they're running an older unit. But characters like the new Ultimate 1, Festival Deanne, characters like that will tank very, very well. Uh, for Ultimate level, obviously, um, the, higher, the old level you get him, the higher the secret technique goes. So, of course, he is very based on dupes. So mine's how much does he gain a go? He gains eight percent a go, which is quite big if you think about it at the start. Uh, minus sixteen. You, you're right. The percentage you'd start would be really low in comparison to the sixty percent you get at six six, which is kind of broken. It's obviously all the same with all secret technique characters, including uh, Amelia, who's also, of course the collab character that has secret technique. But let's go on to gear. So currently mine's running uh, just this gear that I have on him. Just for the sake of uh, box CC, but I would give him my traitor melee set, which is like not perfect, but the attack rolls are perfect, which is all I really care about. HP rolls, they get in there, but I'm slowly working on them because he is a. You're probably going to be using him as a. He's a counter to alt rush, but he's also alt rush at the same time. He's also very good for some PVE things. So I forgot it was like bosses that start with really high alt gauge. You just run him. He immediately starts at three alt gauge, and you can just nuke it. I forgot it was. I think it was Labyrinth, the recent one with the Rising of the Shield Hero collab. I had this guy in the back. I was. I saw so many people being like, just put him in the back. Because if your entire team gets wiped, he drops it and ults. Game over, GG, you immediately win. He's very good for stuff like that. And he's just an overall decent character, to be fair. I don't think he's good for farming. He's definitely more of a PvP support character, ult rush. He's, he's got support cards, but his ultimate's damage dealing, and he wants you to get the ultimate. Which means he's like a he's built for ult rush, but also to be a support character when he can't get his ultimate, which is actually pretty decent. Now if we go to his outfits, of course you've got like the normal like uh, Lost Vein outfit here. I don't actually own Lost Vein, but as you can see, you got all the normal Lost Vein outfits. So in theory, if you just had the Lost Vein outfits, you're fine. Of course, you've got this one, which is super sick. But you know, no practically no. no <laughs> like the top 100 knighthoods have that stuff, so not even sure top 100s even have these. I uh, don't know what percentage you have to be in to get this melee one, but probably very high. Yeah, so if you have outfits for melee, you've also uh, lost uh, yeah, normal Lost Vein melee, the first one, then you have outfits for this guy. Bear in mind, these two outfits are free, so these are already two UR ones you have. Uh, you'll then get another UR one for having this Lost Vein, if you had him. And then I think 
is this one currently the one we can get? This is the diamond one. Okay, this is the diamond one. I thought it was one you get from the Hawk Pass, but it seems like it isn't. So that means you just upgrade either this one or this one, and you got, f I would say, probably this one, actually. This one just looks cooler, and the crit defense is probably more impactful than your crit resistance, as Melee already has ridiculously low crit resistance, so there's no point trying to increase that by 1% when you can increase your crit defense by 4%, which would be a lot more impactful. Uh, Weapons-wise, I don't think... Maybe you get this one from Hero Affinity with Lost Vein, with the actual festival Lost Vein, which gives you a little good stats. This one is the one you get from this one, and obviously we've got the this one, which is on every melee, I think. I think every melee has this two-year headband, I think. I'm not too sure. Actually, I think only the festival one has it. But of course, overall, he's not a bad character. Would I recommend him in today's PvP? No, but he's always a good character to have leveled up, just in case for some reason, like, Old Rush becomes meta again. I don't think he has the capability to wipe a whole team if Festival Tian is there, but he can definitely take away a lot of HP. Then if you've got the ultimate one, you can then use the AoE, and that practically wipes it, most teams anyway. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.